More thread up boxes. Hello guys, if you're new to my channel, thank you for checking me out. My name is Heather. I'm a full-time reseller. I sell on sites like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Thread Up, The Real Real, Instagram, YouTube. Basically, I make sales everywhere. I'm a homeschool mom of two kids, Grace and Ryan. I'm a volleyball coach, I'm a volleyball player, and I love Disney. So if you've been watching my channel recently, you know I've been getting tons of Thread Up boxes and my last box was crazy amazing. The designer box, if you didn't watch that video, I'll link it up here best box ever. Definitely. I had a person there that retailed for thousands of dollars. So that was amazing. These ones, um, I think I'm going to do two separate videos because I have two fun boxes and then I have a couple neighboring handbags and a coach box. So I think I'll do all the purses together and then I'll do the fun boxes together in a video. So we're going to get into this. If you like reseller content, hit the thumbs up button down below. It helps out my channel. Push the subscribe button with the bell next to it. That way you get notifications every time I put out a new video. I know I've had some new subscribers and I've had people asking me where things are, where they're being sold, and they already sold quickly. So it's good to watch these videos right away. That way, if you are interested in something, you can send me a DM on Instagram or you can send me an email and hopefully we can work out a deal that works for both of us. So yeah, I'm going to do the purses for this video. So we're going to have three. So I kind of like when we do like the voting. It's interesting what other people say what they think was the best box. So I've gotten the coach purses before and they've been like, some have been good, like with some really nice big coach bags. Some of them have just been like, okay. So I only got one of those. Okay, name brand handbags. That's the first one. Let's take off the paper, bubbles. And I'll give you a first look. That's what I got. Okay, let's see. Um, this is a Michael Kors little clutch. It is black, really soft leather. Um, here's the brand tag and the inside has lots of spots for cards. It's a little bit bigger than the other clutches I usually get. So hopefully I can sell it for more money. It looks to be in really good condition. I don't see any flaws on it. I don't think it's supposed to, well, you know what? I bet it's supposed to have a crossbody strap because look at these little hooks. So it could be like a small crossbody. I could possibly look for like a leather strap, but I might just sell it without the strap and sell it as a clutch. So we'll see. That should, but I don't know. Without the strap, it might sell for only 20 bucks or so. Um, here is a Mark by Mark Jacobs purse. So Mark by Mark Jacobs is like a diffusion. I think a little bit of a cheaper version but this is a cute leather bag it's kind of like a coral color and it has the turn lock and flat pocket here's the inside with kind of like a spell out so that's nice um i don't know what this is your baggage oh just that's trash <laughs> let's see if they left anything else in here maybe some money i don't see any any money um, but it's in good condition. Let's see the back. I don't really see, like I see like kind of in the bottom, like some wear and stuff, but I don't really see any like discoloration where like anything has rubbed off. Um, gold chain. So that's good. I like the brand Mark Jacobs. So hopefully that'll sell well. Let's get this little, okay. We have Mark by Mark Jacobs again. This is a green leather crossbody. It looks like it zips. Make sure the zipper works. Yes, it does. Okay, so it has like the large handle here and then just this little like top handle quilted on the front with the tassels. It's a cute bag. It's a cute style. It looks like it's in good condition. I don't really see any major flaws except for a little bit of loose string up here, which I can use a lighter and I can get that off. So let me show you the inside and let me look at it. Um, it says moto. So maybe that's a style of the purse I can use for a keyword and to look up, but black, good condition, a few pockets. Okay. So that's the third one. I have a couple black bags here. This is a really nice Kate Spade crossbody. Um, it doesn't look like it was used at all. Let me look at the inside. Oh man, this 
No, it must have been used a little bit because there's like a little mark right here. But I mean, this leather is super nice. There's no scratches. There's no scuffs, nothing. Really nice crossbody bag. I don't know if I want to keep that for myself maybe though. I have a coach purse, a vintage one that I found that I've used when I want to have a black purse. But I might keep this one because it's really cute and I like it, but I don't know. I'll have to look up comps and see. Maybe I could like keep this one and then sell the coach one. That's nice. I like that. And I like that size for myself. I don't like too big of a handbag. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, these are the five. Okay, this is really big. And this is Kate Spade as well. And this is really nice. It's a nice tote bag. Um, it has this little bow on like the keychain part. This is black leather, obviously bottom looks really good I can see let's see it's like a very slight little part right here where it's like kind of worn off but I think that's it it's really nice it's a very big you know what it's the same exact lining as that other purse so I wonder if they're like a similar style or donated by the same person okay that's my first box name brand handbags I like this box I like those Kate Spades. I think those are my favorite and I might keep this one. So let's put that one away and let's get into the next one. I didn't realize I ordered so many and all of a sudden five thread up boxes were on my door today. When I got home from coaching, I was like, oh, oops, kind of going a little crazy. Okay, let's do the coach one next. Coach, let's see. I feel like I always get old. I at least get one or two really old style bags, but Y2K 90s are like back, so could be good. Okay, trying not to make a huge mess. Both of my kids are doing reselling now, and so we all three, none of us took pictures during the day, so we're gonna have to do it at night. My daughter was working at a daycare, but with her volleyball schedule, and sorry, that was really loud, and her school schedule, she's not going to be able to work there. So she's going to have to rely on reselling for her insurance and her gas money and stuff like that. So, yes, hopefully she gets into it. Okay, here we go. Here's a look. That's what I got going for me. So let's get this. It looks like two matching ones. So it's kind of like this one's like a little tweed, like tiny mini bag slash wristlet slash wallet. Um, it has the fob here. And then it has this like buckle across here. The inside is like a lime green color, a little bit dirty, but not bad. Make sure the zipper works. Yes, it does. So that's cute, but I probably won't sell for a ton. That's probably my smaller item. And here's the matching bag. So I possibly might sell these together because it's the exact same style. So this is like the mini purse and that one is the same thing, lime green. Pretty dirty on the inside though. I don't know about cleaning this. Let me like get it out so you can see. How can I clean this? How can I get this off? Let me know. Um, it has this here with the number, so I'll be able to look that up and get a style name. From that, the zipper works. It looks to be in good condition. There's no like wear on the handles or anything. The bottom's like a suede. So I'll be interested to see what these go for. I really have no idea. I don't sell that much coach. Okay, here's the next one. This is like a um, crossbody nylon purse, which actually, if this was black, I'd probably keep it because I like, this is more of like casual sporty, I feel like. Um, but I don't think I want to carry a green purse, but it is really cute and I like it. There's a tiny little spot down here um otherwise it looks to be really nice the inside is very clean on this one and then i'll be able to use this to look up the style zipper works there's a zipper in the front make sure nothing's in there no okay so nylon crest body and then we have two big c's these are all all the rest of these like have the C's, which I was hoping for just like a nice big leather tote, but that's okay. I think I've sold this one with this pleated style in the front before, but I don't remember what it's called. So I'll have to look it up. Um, brown, 
good condition. It's a little bit dirty in the bottom, but that's pretty normal. I think from just setting it down on the ground, the inside is purple and the inside is also in good condition. And I'll look up that Creed. So that looks good. And then, like I said, another, I don't know if you call this monogram or what, this one just has a short handle. So brown with the signature C's. I'm glad I didn't get two of these boxes because this is my favorite style to sell, but I know that these will sell, especially if I price them right. Um, still, I'm glad these are in good condition. They're not like majorly stained. The leather is nice, the fob there. This one on the inside is just dark brown. It's very clean on the inside. So, okay, that's the coach bag number two. All coaches. Lots of like C monogram stuff and the tweed set. Let's go on to the last handbag box and see this one feels heavier. So I hope that's a good sign. I love these boxes. They're so much fun. It's just a little risk with the money, but I've been getting such good ones lately. I'm just like, I just keep ordering them. Okay, here we go. Paper again. Tissue paper. And here's what we got going on. I think that's Marc Jacobs in the top. So let's take a look. Okay, yes. Mark by Marc Jacobs. This one is cool. Let me lock it up and show you. It's like navy blue. Um, navy blue leather and the front is kind of like, I don't even know what, it might be like calf hair or something actually. It looks possibly like real fur, but I'm not sure. I'll have to look up the style. Um, everything else, just like small signs of wear with like kind of some wrinkles and stuff, but overall really, really nice condition. Let's open up the inside. It's dark green spell out let me see down here if there's a material okay so it's real cow leather and hair fur whole skin fur origin brazil dyed and embossed so it is real fur which could make this more valuable i'm hoping so that's a cool bag that's an interesting style that i haven't really seen before here is a nice big fossil bag. I just sold a fossil crossbody, I think for 25 or 30 bucks. This is a dark red color, like a tote. And let's see, the front looks pretty good. The back kind of has some scratching or like scuffs. So I'll have to try to get those off with my leather conditioner, but hopefully that'll just go right out. And then the bottom looks pretty good as well. The inside is just like the same color, basically dark red. Um, it's got a few pockets. It's got the little thing here for your keys, a big zipper pocket in the inside. Okay. So I think I can get that cleaned up and I think that'll be good too. I think at least 40 bucks for that. Here might be the heaviest thing. This is nice. It's a big Dooney and Burke leather tote. I really like this navy and brown very pretty here is the fob i think that's what you want to call that um a very good condition i'm not really seeing any thing wrong with it except for just normal signs of wear on the inside it is pink it is a little bit dirty in the inside but no big deal it's got pockets it's got your little thing here for the keys um, yeah, this is nice. This possibly could be my best bag, but I don't know because I have to look it up and see, but I really like this and it's nice, like durable quality, heavy material. Let's do my accessory. So we have a coach wallet, which will probably sell around 20 bucks. Um, good condition, nothing crazy, but just a little pen mark on the inside. I have a few of these style of wallets that I've gotten in my fun boxes as well. So that's fine with me. And then the last bag we have, this is interesting. Ooh, it's Tory Burch. I love selling Tory Burch. 
Uh, it's really cool, this leather bag. I like the like cutouts on this. Um, yeah, I really like this. It's kind of worn in the bottom, but I probably could use my leather conditioner. I Hopefully I can get that cleaned up better because this bag is really cool. But yeah, all around the bottom, it does have a good amount of wear. So I'll have to see if I can clean that up. Here's what the inside looks like. So it's kind of like a bucket bag style because it has um, this that you can use. So the logo's, oh, okay, that just comes out apparently. Uh -huh. This comes out, <laughs> I can show you that a little bit better. So this, and then here is the logo on the inside. I mean, it's a little bit dirty, but since this comes out, I wonder if I can just wash it. Can you just wash these things? Let me know. Okay, that's my third box. Okay, so let me know. This box had the Tory Burch leather, the Coach wallet, the Dooney tote, Fossil tote, Mark Jacobs crossbody. So three boxes. I think I'm going to be listing handbags tonight because it'll be fairly easy. And I've really been loving selling handbags, but I'm running out of space. Let me see if I can show you up there in the top of that coat rack that's my three boxes of handbags and they're kind of getting full so i'm probably gonna have to start storing them somewhere else but i'll find somewhere else let me know what you guys thought of these boxes let me know which one was your favorite again if you didn't hit the thumbs up button yet please hit it down for me below i'll be back again soon with another video bye guys